Hey guys, another Saturday. Uh, the weather was interesting from early morning, it wasn't too bad, but it got real cold and rainy. And now the sun came out right before sunset. <laughs> so I had a chance here to show you the diorama I actually made yesterday. Uh, I went in the back and uh, I gathered some uh, green moss because most of my moss has lost its greenness and uh, I was actually going to just fix up uh, some of the dioramas that I moved the moss dioramas um, but uh, then I decided to uh, make a little living diorama and I have a still picture of this on my deviant art page but here we have swamp thing i found this cool um it looks like a log doesn't it with this sticking out of it? it's actually a knot this is uh so rotten that the knot the rest of the wood decayed and fell away and so that's the knot and i got a little friend here under the water and actually, this looks better than the one on DeviantArt because I moved him back so you see the tree better, the log. And there's more water in it now because uh, it's been raining. Uh, what happens when you, this is just, uh, if you look underneath, it's a catch basin for a pot, plastic pot. But when you put um, moss around the edge, it wicks the moisture into this down to here. This is, of course, rainwater now, but, uh, so, uh, yeah, so I had some nice green-looking water. You can look at the deviant art picture and see, uh, but I think this, this pose with him in the back with more depth of the water is actually much cooler. So, um, I am going to show you my update of the flying cop car. The custom that I made but uh, I want to show you well, the, the guys came out and fixed my garage for me so no more rats they even caulked around here so yeah no more rats getting in my garage it's just so good because the AMX is in there so um, yeah this morning with my machete I went in there blazed a, a new trail I also uh, this morning got a lot of exercise with my machete and in that uh, uh, end of a shovel which I used to wax. So I cleared a new path down here. Yeah, it's unbelievable how that's grown. Short time. So obviously I cleaned up all around here so the guys could do their work. And uh, so I put all the separate ones that were on the table here and over here in one thing and I cleaned up the old uh, uh, junkyard scene so twins are having fun playing with the little vehicles so I want to go inside now and um, show you the uh, flying car flying cop car what happens usually in my customs is it takes so long to get it mostly right that by the time it comes to maybe putting graphics on it, except for maybe some spaceships, I kind of lose my zeal. So I don't know if this is the final version or not, but uh, I thought I'd set it up for you. In a little scene like this is a little landing pad and uh, I just threw this together literally threw it together I just found this a minute ago and trying to balance it but um, and then oh, I was supposed to turn this on once again my production values so a terrible cold I'm still not sleeping well so please forgive me so this is how it's supposed to be looking so the flying car lands, the cop car, this is like the top of the uh, police station. And uh, let me turn the main lights off here. 
And uh, so I took the uh, electronic guts out of the other car that I stole this from. And I was thinking of integrating it into here, but again, really complicated. I was more interested in the look, but I did put it underneath and so that would that would have been lit up at least to some extent and you would have had this but I don't really look for a f for a future car I don't know if I really want modern um, sound effects anyway so uh, came out pretty good I didn't do my usual fanatical weathering um, I want it to look used, but not ready for the auction. And so here's the, uh, flip it over here, here's the bottom. If you look at my other videos, my other work in progress, I explained to you how the, the lights are seen from the bottom and rotating the gumball lights on the bottom. Anyway, I thought it came out pretty cool. And remember, this is this is a complete custom in the sense that I reversed a Camaro police car and took the front off of a cassette player and used it as the grill. I should say the front fascia, which includes the grill in the middle there. So he's pretty cool. And uh, what else do I have for you? Well, um, this is a shout out to Bob the Odd. On one of the Triple C podcasts, he said, Go buy yourself some latex house, house paint. Pour some of it into your peanut butter jar. You like peanut butter, don't you? And then you have a convenient uh, container, airtight, uh, for your latex house paint, which is cheap considering the quantity and, and durable and great for your base coats on your dioramas, especially outdoor ones. So... I got this, I saw it at my new comic book store, I also saw it online a while ago, and uh, found it online at Things From Another World, and ordered it, and it's awesome, I mean it's, it's um, PVC I believe, but um, the detail is really nice, can't beat it, she's on a, like an Egyptian style cat. So, you know, here's the, the box. I'm not going to review it, but pretty cool. And then uh, I had another um, one of these um, lights give up the ghost. This is a Walmart one, so I took it all apart. And uh, there's some really interesting parts. I don't want to make this too long, but um, this in particular, it looks metal, but it's actually plastic. I think it's plastic, right? No. No, it is metal. It's a super thin, light aluminum. So that would be good like a radar dish. Or, so. These things, last many years, but when they break, they, they break. This is some found object stuff. Um, and my good old uh, jeweler friend, Gave me these acrylic tubes, the plastic acrylics. One's square, the other one's around. He puts his um, thin uh, gold wire that he uses to make jewelry in. So that's cool. This is some objects. Uh, this is part of this. It was a holder for a, a screwdriver, you know, a manual screwdriver with the bits. Then I found a lot of Legos and stuff cleaning up outside. I also found this embedded in the lawn. This was in the old days when I had the other grandkids here and we all were colonial marines. We had code names and everything and I made them all these weapons. This is obviously from a weed eater. So I rescued that. And then some more fodder. I gathered some bottles. Been real sick so I've been using a cold medicine. And uh, one other thing, a couple other things. Um, it's an awesome tool I found at the local hardware store. Um, 
and I hyperextended this finger, so having something I can really grip and torque. Uh, this is pretty awesome with all the different kinds of bits. It was like $9.99. And uh, it comes in a nice little holder you can... And then I just want to show you this. Uh, I always pick up these little mints. Uh, this is from Star Starbucks. But a small one you can carry with you. So if you ever run across little things that you don't want to put in your pocket and end up washing and having it go down the drain. So really tiny stuff you can put in here. And you won't lose it. So you can see the, there's a size range here. But all kind of little tiny things you don't want to lose. So I keep that with me in my pocket. And when I'm in my civilian garb. So, uh, oh yeah, I found when I was back. I think it was yesterday. I found a, a cool um, thing from a tree. I, think, I don't know what that is. That cottonwood might be. So there you go. Uh, that's about, oh one other thing in the paint room. I had to change out my toner, and it came in this cool uh, uh, clamshell uh, plastic container. And I thought, hey, I could see that as like a you know something you tow in space, like a barge type of deal. So I painted that up. So as usual, I'm all over the place and uh, having fun, trying not to cause people to have seizures, including myself. So for Batman, Catwoman, and Swamp Thing, who's outside. Matter of fact, there's a new DC uh, Direct or whatever you call it, uh, their streaming service, uh, All Access, no, it's CBS. Whatever the name of the DC one is, they're going to come up with a live action Swamp Thing. I might have to ante up and get that. I want to see the Titans one too, the uh, Teen Titans. And I guess Nightwing, maybe? You know, you got me at Gotham City, you got me a bad family. So for the flying police car, Blade Runner-esque and uh, Total Recall 2079, yes, I still have that on the burner. I'm out.